Uh, as Willie and the Bandits, we play uh, rock, sort of a mix of rock, blues, folk. And I think you're going to love it. It's going to be powerful. You know, it's a, it's a big sound. You know, it's, it, when we're rocking, it's big. There's very dreamy Pink Floyd landscapes, you know, sort of very psychedelic points. There's very rocking points, very acoustic points. They want to go on a musical journey. And the journey can be bigger now. It's going to be a wider journey, the, yeah. the longer one. That's the plan, anyway. OK. I want every song to be different. I want every song to have a personality and identity. I don't want to do the same thing twice because I just feel that that, I mean, I, although that's probably what record labels want and the music industry want is a sound, they can market. For me, that's not art, that's not being creative. That's just being a, that's just sort of recreating the same thing to make money. Whereas I find for myself as an artist and as someone who's creative, I want everything, I do to be different to the last thing and find a new inspiration or a new thing. It's like painting a picture. You have all these colors in the world and why would you use the same three colors every time? It's good to bring all the colors in and try and make something that's interesting for me and for the audience and for everyone, you know? someone who um, feels a song so I'll be walking home from the pub or from somewhere and I feel like when I get home I'm gonna write a song I can feel it in my bones you know yeah. there's a sort of 
uh, energy that needs to come out. And then when I get home, I normally play the song most of the time from start to finish. Yeah. But sometimes I will put it on the computer and play around. But okay. most of the time, the songs At come first the it. music and after that, the lyrics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's occasionally the lyrics first, okay. but most of the time it's the, it's the music than the lyrics. Yeah. Okay. A lot of the younger generations still love that music too, you know. Um, I think, especially musicians, like any young people that are playing music, are always looking back to the 60s and 70s, like your Jimi Hendrixes, your Cream, your Pink Floyd, your Led Zeppelin, because that was the start of rock and roll. Um, but I think the young people, we start, we do pull in newer influences into our music. Um, we sort of, we try to do some more hip hop y stuff and more funky stuff, which sort of crosses over to the young generation as well. So. We sort of got quite a range of styles to to our, um, you know, what we do. So okay. I think it has a, has an impact. Yeah. Yeah. Um, guitar led music's not as prominent in the mainstream. I think when you uh, when you actually um, expose people to to it, yeah. I think people actually do really enjoy it. It's just they haven't got it like back in your day yeah. and my day as well because I'm, I'm from the 90s child so grunge music like Pearl Jam and Nirvana that was my thing so yeah. you know it's, um, it's just it's just not as much guitar music about but it is still out there and there's still young people that are really into it
Again!